Hey everybody, well this is going to be kind of fun and funny I think, I don't know what will happen. Um, we just had a 20 minute discussion about whether we should do this live or whether we should film it and edit it. And I said, no this is live, so uh, we're in the office of the GGR now, you all know me, so this is probably the last time you're going to see me on this screen, because around here we have, um, who are you? <laughs> No, no, don't take that. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm Christophe uh, Favreau. I'm uh, uh, pretty specialized in photography and uh, entering into the video world too. That's enough. And okay. Okay. <laughs> I am, of course, the money girls. <laughs> Control the money, which we don't have. And I'm the admin and finance, that's it. Okay, and over here we have... Hey, I'm Celine Trommenschlager. I'm the DJ Race Manager. Okay, so before we go there, this is the desk. This is where I hang out. This is our main head office, and uh, this is Celine's desk here. And just to position everything, out here is the uh, Vendée Marina. That's where the Vendée Globe starts and where we started from uh, in La Sable de Lone. This is our nerve centre in here, all a bit of a mess. Uh, uh, we had 17 people in these two rooms uh, during the start of the race. And if I come over here... Um, we're actually now looking at the, um, that was the site of the GGR Race Village and uh, uh, Vendée Marina again. So we're in the Sable de Lone agglomeration. Fantastic, our big important partners and so on. And this is going to be like a 15 minute session on just uh, us. This is the core team. So uh, um, so tell me, uh, tell me first of all, in fact I should mention a couple other people before we start. You smile pleasantly. We've uh, got Barry Pickthall over in England. He's our media manager. Um, he's been with us uh, for literally three years now. Barry's got a big background in round the world yacht racing, including the first uh, GGR. He was a cadet journalist back then. Um, normally over there, we've got Dave Price on that desk there, who's our assistant race director, but he's just bought a Victoria 34 yacht, and he's over in England picking that up and uh, going to go sailing north anyway. Then we also have um, uh, Nick, our uh, digital director. He's uh, uh, operating out of um, Tasmania in Hobart, and uh, that's the main team at the moment, eh? That's us. So just to kick this off, oh, you did not Caroline. and who? Caroline. Oh, Caroline. <laughs> I'm, sorry. I'm forgetting about Caroline. Caroline helps us uh, uh, with French media um, here in the office, but only comes in part time. So uh, I forgot about that. And we've had a lot of people involved. Oh, the other one is, of course, if we had an incident here, we have about 10, uh, 10 to 12 volunteers, uh, various sailors that come in on the crisis management team. Uh, if that happens, then the phones get very busy and all that sort of stuff. So we have a list and we call them in. One day we'll talk about crisis management and how it works and what happens and so on. But for now, uh, um, this is meant to be light and fluffy. So um, tell me a bit about you, uh, Christophe. So my main uh, activity uh, at the moment for the GGI is to write the French report uh, every uh, two mornings. And I'm also in charge of uh, producing uh, pictures when I have opportunities and uh, videos and uh, archiving all that stuff on the Dropbox and uh, also updating our YouTube uh, channel and also the Flickr galleries and also preparing uh, uh, some material for the medias, you know, uh, editing uh, some uh, videos that uh, have been given to us by the entrance or the ones that we have produced. And uh, many other things, uh, like uh, taking uh, down to the airport or uh, <laughs> <laughs> many different things. But we are a small team, so we need to be pretty flexible. Absolutely. Okay, Celine, so uh, uh, what have you, what, what's your daily routine? What do you normally do? Well, it really depends on the months, actually. I've been doing lots of different things uh, in the last two years with GGR, um, organizing the start, the event. And now much into much more into race control and uh, following the skippers, <coughs> um, doing updates on skippers, and um, <coughs> okay. recording their tweets. Sorry. Yeah, she's in charge of everything. That's a short story. <laughs> Where we had to find <laughs> boats, we ne we needed boats for the start. We needed twenty five start boats, so we got twenty five volunteers, and that was a huge organisation. And and then dealing with our, our numerous little uh, supporting sponsors, technical yeah. partners. Yeah, <coughs> cool. And Jane, Jane, what's your day to day? Tell me about what you do. 
No, I normally do what dogs tell me to do. <laughs> That's enough. <Yeah. laughs> okay. <laughs> so, how did you, uh, Christoph? How did you get? How did you get here? How did you end up in the chair? And how did you get involved wearing a GGR shirt? I mean, from what I remember, it was a very simple way. I saw a, a message on Facebook that you were searching for a, a local uh, based guy. Uh, able to do pictures and videos and uh, that was how we get connected and then it does and what, what, became something what's your, what's a little bit bigger. What's your background to that? Why did I say, oh, you're cool, you want to join the team? I'm, I'm doing uh, sailing photography for a while now, for 15 years, uh, I would say. I've been uh, all over the world to 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 take pictures of all the events I really enjoy and the big ones and small ones and uh, I'm kind of driven by the passion of uh, 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 sailing and uh, enjoying uh, documenting it so uh, the Golden Globe race was a pretty exciting new event for me I like events I like uh, f stories and, and, and this one is a big one so I was really happy to to get involved in its uh, first also uh, edition, even if it's a replica. So I like also the new adventures. So, so yeah. that's how I get there. Cool. Okay, Jang Jang. So uh, what's your background? Tell me all about you. I, uh, you have two minutes, one and a half minutes. Come on. I met Don more than 10 years. And then we built Bo and he met me in the shipyard. And then I was the project so-called manager, but then uh, and then he asked me, oh, go treasure hunting, and then I say, oh, oh yes, go, and then he asked, oh, how about do Golden Girl Race? Okay, yes, so I'm here. <laughs> okay, what well, the real story is, Jane was my project manager and interpreter in the Chinese boatyard where I built my last 50-foot uh, expedition boat, and I stole her for warranty, but he's got a background trained as an air traffic controller and uh, all sorts of bits and pieces, and yeah, we've been partners for a long time now. Anyway, that's another story, and Celine. What brought you to the GGR? Where'd we meet up? Well, actually, um, it's from a long story. Um, I've always been into adventure um, environment, ecotourism. Um, I spent eight years back and forward um, in Australia, especially. And um, I heard about Dawn. I've always been really interested into Antarctica, uh, sailing, paddling, adventure, treasure hunter. And um, so I knew about this man and um, I saw about that you. yeah yeah <laughs> forget me uh, I'm telling you the whole story and I saw a little man walking by the the Vendée Globe ponton uh, a few years ago during the Vendée Globe and I recognized him and I couldn't believe <laughs> no one knew who he was but I actually did and um, Hang on a minute. we I just talked we just talked for a while <laughs> And that's how I ended up with GGR. <laughs> okay. What she's really saying is she was actually working at the Vendée and uh, she was hanging over with uh, Lionel Ragnia and I came through to have a look at the boat and I saw her and saw she's working really well and uh, said to Celine, hey, we need a part-time uh, uh, coordinator here. That was in November of uh, 2016. Yeah. yeah. And, right. uh, and Celine said, yeah, great, okay. So started off part-time and it only lasted a few months and became full-time, eh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it just became crazy as it is still now. Yeah, yeah. So it's all very good. Okay. And how did I get here? That's a silly story. But anyway, so um, now up close and personal, who's your favourite entrant, Christoph, in the GGR and uh, why? I, I, I must admit I love them all, but I have to admit that I have a kind of a special uh, uh, connection with uh, Jean-Luc Vendénid and because I worked for him a bit and uh, uh, I was there on the first Vendée Globe and he was kind of my really favorite character you know because he looks like so much as a as a sailor you know he's kind of an icon uh, i mean the way he looks and the way he's acting in in his uh, in his uh, daily life and i like the fact that you know he's the older guy in the fleet he's 73 years old and he's going for an adventure which is super big you know <laughs> and I really like that spirit, you know, that means that you can be whole. I must admit, 73, we can say it, it's old, it's not young, but and, and, and still doing crazy things, you know, and it's really something and, and sh doing it on a very uh, simple and easy way. And I really, uh, I it's giving me a lot of uh, uh, confidence for my uh, uh, future life, you know, that's... Man, yeah, time's up. Okay. Radio, Jane, Jane. Who's <laughs> <laughs> okay. he's, he's your favourite entrant and why? <laughs> and Tapio and Uku were very friendly and warm to me. And Tommy from Asia, so I support him too. And I like Ah, that's all. Hang on, you only meant to have one. Uh, a Chinese <laughs> come, don't come. Make all oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Well, um, what's yeah. the 
Sorry, I'll be like Jane. Uh, I have a great respect for Jean Luc, and I'm already missing him, and can't wait to see him back uh, on the pontoon. But I have a special, uh, um, special. I'm following Susie uh, really hard. I'm very what, proud what of. What for? What's so special I'm about proud Susie? Of what she's doing, <laughs> and she's getting stronger every day. I think um, having a great adventure, and I really appreciate um, the spirit um, of Coconut, um, our wig. In Abilash. Hang on, you can't really talk about settle that. He's my man. <laughs> <laughs> he's my man. He's Coconut. The man. Okay, Coconut is my favourite. Not because he's a member of my previous yacht club, the Royal South Australian Yacht Squadron, and he's from my hometown, Adelaide. It's just him. He's crazy, <laughs> and I like it. I like the way he joined the race. I like the, everything that he's doing. He's having fun. He's really confident. He'll he could do really well. Watch this space for the end of the race. Anyway, all part of the fun. <laughs> so. Uh, um, okay, so day to day. So what what happens? Uh, how do we get uh, Celine? How do we what, we get tweets from the entrance on their satellite uh, texting? What happens when we get a tweet? How does it happen? And what do you do? Yeah, um, well, it's nothing to do with magic, but it's special. Uh, we just have a mess, uh, an email uh, with their text on it, and uh, well, we need to copy it into a program, into another program, then to post it on Twitter. Uh, but the funny part of it is to translate it. Sometimes it's in French, in English, in Russian, um, in any language, basically. So uh, that's how it all happens. Yeah, okay. And then we do a summary on Facebook each night. Yeah, we can then all the messages yeah, yeah. on Facebook. Okay, Jane Jane, SoundCloud, what happens? How do we, when they ring, what happens? The problem is the phone is in front of my desk and I got phone phobia, so I won't answer it. We will all yell out, don't, don't, phone! And then you will run and pick up the call and then the phone will be automatically recorded. And after don't put that down and I'll take the car out and I will upload to the SoundCloud. As yes. an audio file. Yes. Yeah, and then we share that to thing. Okay, so um, what do you do? <laughs> to uh, take a picture. Yeah, <laughs> no, 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 they're, they're, they're no, pretty we, far the now files, to get yeah. pictures. So I'm uh, writing a uh, French report every uh, yeah. two days. And now I'm going to do more and more French lives, you know, answering uh, questions like you've done the past week and uh, progressively uh, bringing more and more French content. So that's going to be my mission for the next few months. Yeah, I must admit, that's always a challenge. We've got a lot of uh, French followers over. Obviously, we're in France. Our biggest partner is uh, Le Sable de Lone Agglomeration, and, and uh, uh, the French public here came out big time, but the official language of the race is English, and obviously I'm driving a lot of that. I don't speak much French at all. Um, <laughs> in Petit Francais, s'il vous plaît, my favourite line. <laughs> so we're always uh, looking at how we can put more French content up, and just, just to let you know. But anyway, slowly but surely. Okay, I think that just about... Um, oh, uh, merchandise. Jane, Jane. Yeah. Uh, sell, sell, sell. Oh, tell them about... Okay. Here's the, here's, here's the, tell them the difference in the T-shirts. Uh, what I mean different in the, This one what? is a made in France. Yes, yeah. yeah, locally yeah. produced. It's, uh, I would call that screen It's traditional print. 1968 real screen printing. So it's not, this isn't sort of iron on, press on thing. It's a 100% cotton shirt. That's one of the girls' ones. We have girls and men's on that one. Yes. And um, it's pretty cool. Yes. Um, I want to buy and, a yeah, that one's, that one's made in France. It's going to be yeah. delivered from France. Now, this one that Celine's got, these are the real deal. Um, tell us about that, Celine. You don't. <laughs> you probably don't know because it's made in China. Yeah, well, it's made in China. It's really, really nice. You've got the nice McIntyre at the back yep. and the GGR at the front. It's all embroidered. No, um, no cheap screen printing. Yeah, you and on even the sleeve, have we've the, got the Royal Namuka Yacht Club. Royal Namuka Yacht Club. And the Les Abdullah Agglomeration. Yep. And that's the, that's the same as you. you got one of the current ones on you're wearing right now. Yeah, that's yep, it. you got the sleeve and everything. Yeah. No, you haven't. No, no, no that's oh one of the God. early ones. Oh, that's a collector's item. Hang on. No, the one you've got on now was one of the early ones that's um, it's changed now. So so yeah. that one will come out of China. And, oh, you've got a beautiful hat, Christoph. Tell me about the hat. Yeah, it's oh, a... No, it's, I'll hold the mic. That's mine. <laughs> it's a super cool hat oh, because it's, that, it's, yeah. it's dark, so it's taking okay. all the sun. Show him the back, Jane Jane. Rip his hat off. Show him the back. Oh, yes. look at that. It's yes. got golden globe race on the back, all the rest of it. And yeah. uh, okay, tell them about the flag, GGR flag. You can flags. even get no. We're going to sell GGR flags. If you want to get a GGR flag, that's upside down. You're in distress. 
you may well be deciding with it. You you may well be at it. I've got to get a long shot on this. Buy a GGR flag, right? Some people want it, some people won't. Now the bad news. Oh, McIntyre, no, that's a different one. So here's the bad news. You won't be able to buy one T-shirt. There's a lot of people been asking us about merchandise. Um, you'll have to buy a minimum of two T-shirts, and we'll be making some packages. There'll be a supporters packages and a partner package with like four T-shirts, four hats, mainly because the cost of delivery, the cost of getting no, stuff out. the labour to stand to deliver. Yeah, that's right. It's just not worth anyone's while delivering one T-shirt. So we had promised this has been happening for months and months, and the last promise we said was August the 1st. It still hasn't happened but it's imminent and I'd hope by the end of this month we're just a small team we're working hard to make it happen and so stand by for that now tell us hold this poster up Jane Jane these are our official posters that you may may not have seen okay it, it's on canvas this is on canvas this is the official artwork this one's actually been signed by all of the entrants uh, in the GGR as well as Sir Robin Ox Johnson there, it's got his signature on it, and Jean-Luc Vander, he'd signed his up the corner there, so it's got his signature, plus all the entrants in the GGR. Um, I'll get to sign it, uh, all the team will sign it, and this, that, and the other. Um, there was only ever 300 of those produced, and you'll get a chance to buy that one right there with everyone's signature on it, and the money will all go to Citrans, so keep an eye out for that. Put the other one up, Jane Jane. This one, the second one, just put it down there on, on the thing, eh? Uh, the second one, another canvas print. They're really cool. This is an extremely limited edition. It's a different design. It's got Sue Haley's course on it going through there uh, perfectly with, with um, uh, all the interesting points and so on. Um, it's got uh, different branding on the bottom, and uh, there's only 100 of these. They're all numbered, so that'll they'll be available for sale as well. And uh, uh, that particular one that's signed by everyone, including Robert Knox Johnson, will be available as well, uh, all for Citran. So keep an eye out for that. And when we work out how to do the merchandising right and put them in a tube, we should be able to sell those, uh, the posters, not the 1 to 100, um, but we should be able to get them out. Anyway... I think that's all. That's enough. Yep. Thanks. Say goodbye, everyone. Bye. <laughs> Hang on. I've got to get the camera up. Where are you going? To turn that off. Oh, I've got to turn. <laughs> Jane just did a backtrack. <laughs> She's got to turn it off. Right, Righto. Turn it off. We've had enough. See ya. <laughs>